pushing off. Can you see? Yeah. Good streamline. Again, nice job on that. You're pretty good at that by now. Butterfly kick. Let's get the butterfly kick on your pull down when you're getting your arms down. Kick a little bit, but make sure it's from the hips so you're not laying completely flat. Okay. So wait, where should I have the pull? As you're pulling your arms down. Like what? When? Right there. Oh, so right now? Yep. Just picture it if, if, if you're climbing the wall. When would you help yourself with that kick? Bringing your arms back. Good. Let's watch what your face does. Look how, actually you're not coming up high. If anything, your, your kick on that pull-up was so weak, you're a little bit vertical. Okay? Make sure you finish that kick so your body goes forward more. You're getting stuck with your elbows a little. Remember we practiced that today? Yeah. Not to get them. That what you need to do. Yep, exactly, exactly. And try not to move your head this much. You're bouncing, you're actually forcing your head. Keep your chin closer to your chest at all times. I think after today's practice, your kick gonna be stronger as well. You can tell here, you're hardly getting any power from it. Look if I would, this is, real speed for you. So you need to go a little bit wider with your kick. Okay. So you get more water and you can push off. And remember, you want to finish your kick all the way through so your legs are extended at the end. There you go. You can tell the elbows. It's gonna be fun to see what you do on the water with that. See how little distance we stroke right now? Yeah. It's mostly because of your pick. So we need to get your legs up to speed and you're gonna be okay. okay. So again, good job on the streamline. You can glide a little bit longer. You're starting to pull too fast. And th look at those elbows. You can tell they're a little bit too high. Okay, you want them lower. Because at, at this point, it even looks like they're higher than your head position. And you can tell here, see how high they are compared to your body? So again, all this is creating drag, even though it's for a very short period of time, it's one of the most crucial times when you're just pushing up the wall. And so on this, again, just picture climbing the wall and kick. You kind of have a little bit of a natural one, but press your chest more on it. You can kick harder, and you can see you're so deep in the water still, and you're trying to come up. Look, and all this you're still underwater, and laying down. I would say just a little too wide with your pool. Have it shorter and elbows lower. That way they're not gonna get stuck on your side right here. See that? So if you would have your elbows a little bit lower, um, let's say. If this would be your head. Like, this would be your head. You want to look like this with your elbows. Hey, right now you're here. Oh, those are the elbows? That's what you look like, yeah. If this is your head, what you do right now, you bring in your elbows right here. You want them right here. At the keyhole. Yeah. Yep. Remember I told you about snapping your feet at the end? Mm -hmm. And point your toes also because, again, your feet are really flat right now. Yeah. If you point them out, that's alone going to help you a lot. This kick, you can tell that your knees are really wide, but your feet are together. It has to be opposite. Actually, your knees are fine if you can keep them that way. You just gotta get your legs here. Your feet, okay? All right, good job with that. Going a little bit too deep on your pull-out. And you can 
it out. Let's go with this in a slow motion backwards. See how high your elbows are? Yeah. So that's what you can control so you don't get stuck on your sides. It looks like a breach in the surface. <laughs> yeah? The left. Yeah? Yeah! They're way too high. The small things, huh? Once you fix all that, Jeff, you're going to be much, much better. Okay? okay?